response to the last several videos in this series is really something else. Nobody has made a single on-topic comment. In fact, I had to delete several comments and make pretty strong responses to some of the other comments because they were just irrelevant. One guy made a long metaphor which he didn't ever ground to the actual subject matter. It's like this and it's like that and it's sort of like this and like that. But he never said what is like this and what is like that. All of this leads me to understand that nobody understood the previous videos. In fact, there were a couple of comments that were so bad, so awful, I had to delete them. That's pretty rare. So, I don't know what to tell you, you know? It's like, it's like whenever I talk about Ajatavada, people freak out. I've seen it many times before. Remember, I used to have an ashram with like almost 20 devotees, so-called disciples. <laughs> and it always struck me how even though every day we did so much chanting and we had every day a long kirtan and we had lessons from the scriptures, how it, it didn't go in. Huh? <laughs> they could not turn around and tell me five minutes after I gave a class what I had said in the class. Nobody could. And these are supposedly intelligent people. See, this is the human condition nowadays. Everyone's intelligence has been ruined by school. And they cannot bring themselves to make the effort to correct it. So they remain, they remain with a learning disability the rest of their lives. They can't actually grasp or understand anything, especially if it's on a higher level. So I would say most of the people, most of the viewers on this channel are actually in Dwaita Vada. Now, the last couple of videos, I didn't put up the chart, but this time I'm going to do it. Here it is, the famous chart of the four states of consciousness and the four levels of self-realization connected with them. Also, the four yogas and also the chakras connected with each state of consciousness. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but on each and every video on the whole channel, I have now added the classification according to this scheme. So if you are in Dwaita Vada and you try to watch something that's too far above you, huh, like Ajata Vada, of course you're going to get all mixed up. <laughs> it goes without saying, or it should go without saying that you will not be able to understand it. You will instead project one of your fears and try to make that the subject of the video. This is called neurosis or even psychosis when it gets too bad. Because what's happening is everyone is identified with the body and therefore, everyone is afraid of death. But the death is only of the gross body. 
It's not of the energy body or the mental body or the consciousness or will body or the bliss body. Huh? It's only this piece of meat, this bag of bones that dies because that's what pieces of meat do. They decay and die. So everybody is so freaked out by this that when we start talking about Ajatavada, which is by definition beyond the concept of death, beyond even the concept of rebirth, re reincarnation, everybody's subtle mental terrors start to rise. And these all are based on the fear of death. And they start projecting them, projecting them on the subject matter and on me. This is classic misunderstood terms huh? in the language of becoming genius. So what to do? Shall I not ever speak of Ajatavada? No, that's not acceptable because Ajatavada is the goal. Ajatavada is pure, perfect, complete self-realization. Brahman, Nirvana, Nibbana. So that's what I feel when people make these offbeat, weird comments that have nothing to do with the actual topic of the video. Uh, it's like these uh, people with ruined brains that hang around Ramanashramam. The topic, the very subject, or the idea of Ajatavada brings them out of the woodwork. Huh? They're projecting their fear of death on Ajatavada and any topics and any people related to it. So <laughs> it's simply neurosis or psychosis. Huh? Because Ajatavada is not about death. It's about never being born. That's what Ajata means, unborn. Like in Sanskrit poetry, when they want to talk about something impossible or non-existent, they use the metaphor of a, a certain woman's unborn son. He's unborn. He doesn't exist. He's at best only a thought. And that's the same as the material world. It's only a thought. It doesn't really exist. It was never born. It isn't real. It's only a dream. So there's nothing to fear. See, even death or other kinds of suffering are not fearful. They're not because they're only thoughts. And in any case, they're only temporary. So we created this illusion. We've been over the process of becoming, I don't know, a million times. And the process of becoming says that we choose, we create, huh? we synthesize our being by desires and by thoughts and by words. And similarly, we can undo everything we've done. In other words, that's what one of my teachers, one of my great Buddhist teacher, uh, Bhikkhunyanananda said to me, he said, you are going to have to undo everything you have done. What does that mean? It means reversing the process of becoming, undoing becoming to get back to our original state. And what is that? Ajatavada, <laughs> Turiya consciousness, the unborn, where this whole material world is simply a thought, simply a dream. We can still be conscious of it. 
and we will be conscious of it until the prarabdha karma of this body is exhausted. But we don't have to be conscious of it as a reality. We can be conscious of it as a thought, as a dream, as an illusion, as maya. So everything, the whole universe, is simply maya, that which is not. It's simply an appearance, saguna brahman. So we can't take it seriously. It's just a play. It's like a TV show. Although, <laughs> if you look on social media, you'll see plenty of people that take these TV shows very seriously and devote endless time to discussing it and analyzing them and trying to predict what's going to happen. And I mean, it's just a waste of time. It's just a TV show or it's just a movie. So don't get freaked out. Don't go into fear. Don't project your fear of death on the subject of Ajatavada. The actual meaning of Ajatavada is completely the opposite, that we should have no fear because the whole existence is nothing but an illusion. And in the end, it doesn't matter. Just like a TV show. When the funding is, uh, is over, when the sponsors go away, TV show is no more. Actually, it never was. The whole thing is an illusion from the, from the start. So don't be fooled by Maya. Know it for what it is. And when you meditate, neti neti, huh? This is not it. This is not it. Whatever comes up, that's not it. <laughs> Until you finally come to that which is permanent. Iti iti. That which is. That which has unalterable existence in past, present, and future. And what is that? Pure awareness. Consciousness without an object. I've said this again and again and again. But people don't get it. They try to turn that into a thought and then reason about it and then bring up arguments based on what other people have said about it. Well, I don't give a darn what other people have said because I don't need their words to understand my consciousness. I am that consciousness. I am Brahman, Aham Brahmasmi. I am Brahman. So from my point of view, I understand that everything else that appears to not be Brahman is illusion, it's Maya. So it's not worth arguing about. It's not worth making up things about. It's not worth projecting your fears, huh, which are only based on your identification with your body. It's not worth trying to make elongated metaphors that don't really apply to anything. It's not worth criticizing me. Huh? Well, what The me that you see is simply an illusion. So I think despite my mentioning these things over and over again in these series that nobody's really getting it. I haven't seen any evidence that anyone's really understanding these four levels of consciousness. So does it mean that what I'm doing is useless? No, no. Because from the moment of self-realization, the rest of your prarabdha karma is best spent trying to help others realize what you have realized. So then that's what my life has been about since about noon on December 21st, 1984, when I realized Brahman. So try to understand. Don't project your nonsense. Try to get what the topic is about and respond to that. Huh? Not some thoughts or what, whatever you heard from some other teacher or 
make arguments based on duality or what you know this is not the the topic for that it's not appropriate i will delete your comments if they're off topic i'm tired of hearing from people who don't understand what the hell i'm talking about okay so be cautious when you're dealing with these ajatavada videos look at the video description the first thing it says, this video is classified Ajatavada, uh, Sahasrara Chakra. You know, it's not about anything ordinary. It's about non-duality. So please respect that and treat it that way. And do me a favor and don't disrespect the most sacred thing in the universe. Aum Tatsat, Aum Shakti Aum.